so hey everyone good evening so today i'm making this video after a long time it's been four days i haven't uploaded any single video on my channel the reason was my health was not good but i'm back okay my health is good now so let's continue today's video's topic is things to know before starting clinical sas training and why this is important i'll tell you in this video so first and foremost you should know about guidance okay let's suppose you have started clinical sas training but what happened a lot of people get stuck in the mid or after completing the training due to lack of guidance why guidance plays very important role the reason is you can learn the software but you should know the whole process or what happened after learning you get stuck how to find jobs or again you get stuck okay i'm finding jobs in a correct way but still i'm not getting jobs what to do is it i'm applying with the correct way still okay is the jobs are there in the market so that should be someone a professional who have worked in the industry okay or either he is working in industry he should actively guide you or he or she can be your trainer as well so from the training institute you are learning just make sure that they are also providing guidance to you during the training as well and after the training as well because let's suppose you have completed your training and after the training you need some guidance so what you will do there can be x y z type of guidance guidance can be technical as well non technical as well technical means you are not like able to solve any problem or scenario or x y z and non technical means let's suppose due to the health issues you missed sessions continuously okay now what to do or due to uh, some other things you you are unable to focus on studies so at that time what to do and how to continue your journey again so all those things are there so during the training that's why guidance plays very important role okay so make sure from your trainer whether he or she is going to give you guidance or not during the training and after the training as well now moving to second point that is time why time is very important you should know from the beginning itself before starting the training that how much time it gonna take why because a lot of people do not plan okay that how much time it gonna take they start the training and they feel that after the training i'll quickly get the job but ultimately what happened a lot of people start suffering okay they do not get the job what's the reason is no planning no awareness that's why i'm telling the same four months time it will take for training four months time it will take for getting interviews or cracking interviews okay and even in worst case if it is taking more time then what to do that's why time planning okay your time planning sh should be important you should plan your time okay and you should be aware about your time that how you gonna utilize this time four months of training and four months of applying cracking interviews now connected to this point there is another point that is quick relief what does it mean by quick relief let's suppose you have decided 6 months of period for you 4 months period for training and another 2 months or 3 months period let's suppose for getting interviews or cracking you assume that within 5 or 6 months i'll get a job but somehow you didn't got the job now let's assume your financial condition is not good you are getting pressure from your family that it's been 7 or 8 months what are you doing now it can happen okay at that time you should be planned okay that what needs to be done so there should be some planning what can be the second thing i can start quickly what can be the role related to your educational background it can be x y z role you can plan and you should already plan for some references or those references can help you to get the job quickly so let's suppose after 7 or 8 months due to x y z reason you are unable to get the job so i always believe instead of sitting idly and just looking for job you can start one job that you are easily getting and you can continue this job hunting into clinical sas but in major of the part if you are showing your consistency four months of training and four months of learning will get the job now connected to this point okay there is another point that is consistency now this is very important consistency and this you should know in the beginning itself that how you going to manage your consistency let's suppose you are student let's suppose you are working professional so in both of the cases or you have left your job for training in all of these three cases how you going to manage your time if you left your job if you are fully focusing on this training then you can easily manage the time but if you are student or working professional so there can be possibility that managing your time can be difficult so you should plan this before itself let's suppose one hour time will take for the training okay the trainer will train you another one and half hour or two hour you need to give yourself 
by practicing or you should give for practicing so it means let's assume a time of 3 hours or 2.5 hours one hour for training training institute will give you another one and a half hour or two hour you are giving it for practicing so you need to maintain this consistency okay and you need to plan this before itself not after starting the training that how you gonna maintain the time for training and practicing okay so this should be clear to you at the first day itself and connected to this point there is a, another point that is avoid distractions so what happened once you start your training okay you hear a lot of noises from here and there from your colleagues from your let's suppose you have your student from like let's suppose your classmates you will hear a lot of suggestions that this is not possible you will not get it or xyz things are there and sometimes while learning process itself you start looking for jobs and you are seeing okay market is not good so you get demotivated so these are distractions at the time of learning you should simply focus on learning at the time of applying for jobs you should simply applying for jobs no here and there nothing else because see if you have choose this it's your responsibility to go at the end to reach at the end you need to reach very carefully okay let's suppose if you are getting distracted the focus will be not proper right okay you'll not learn it properly so avoid distractions it doesn't matter what other people are telling okay okay it also doesn't matter let's suppose you are applying for jobs you're not getting feedbacks actively so don't worry you just started applying for a job give time to yourself that's why we have decided a span of four months for getting interviews and cracking it okay so i don't believe that you should start getting interviews at from day one itself or you should start cracking your first interview itself okay it might take time but you'll surely get it so guys i hope this video will help to all the people who are going to start their clinical sales journey or who are in the journey of finding jobs or learning so that's all in today's video let's meet in the next video bye bye everyone